Introduction to Numbers from 91 to 99 Hello friends, I'm the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Come let us see what we will learn in this lesson. Numbers from 91 to 99 And reading those numbers as 1s and 10s. Today all the children in the school have brought their old books. These books will be given to those children who cannot afford to buy these books. Choto and Aarti have got the work of counting all the books in their class. Aarti, there are so many books kept here. How shall we count them? Look Choto, we can do one thing. We can make sets of 10 books each. This will make it very easy to count. Alright. Choto and Aarti started making sets of 10 each. Choto, how many sets of books have been made? Aarti, 9 sets of 10 books have been made. Okay, 9 sets of 10, which means 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. This means 90 books. Yes, 90 books. Children, can you tell me how many ones and how many tens are there in 90? Come on, let us see. Children, this is how we write 90. Here 9 is at the tens place and 0 in the ones place. This means we have 9 tens which we can also call 9 bundles of 10, which is 90 and there is no ones here. So, did you see children? 9 tens means 90 books. This shows that Chotu and Aarti have counted 90 books so far. After some time, Neha gave Five more books to Chotu and Aarti. So children, can you tell me how many books they have with them now? Come on, let us see. Initially, they had 90 books. And later, they got five more books. So which makes it 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. So this means they have 95 books in total. Can you tell me how many ones and how many tens are there in 95? Children, this is how we write 95. Here 9 is at the tens place and 5 is at the ones place. This means we have 9 tens which we can also call 9 bundles of 10 which is 90 and along with that 5 ones which means 5 books. After a while Sono brought some more books. So let us see how many books Chotu and Pinky together have right now. Chotu initially there were 95 books and then 96, 97, 98, 99. Children, this means they have 99 books all together. We write 99 like this. And here 9 is at 10's place and 9 is at 1's place. So that means we have 9 10's which we can also call 9 bundles of 10. And along with that 9 1's. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned to read numbers from 91 to 99 and to read those numbers in the form of 1s and 10s. In the next video, we will learn about 100 and learn to read 100 as 1s and 10s. Till then, bye children.
Introduction to 100. Hello children, in the last video, you learned numbers from 91 to 99 and also read those numbers as 1s and 10s. So come on, let's see what you will learn in this video. About 100 and how many 1s and 10s are there in a 100? Today is Chotu and Pinky's mother's birthday. Chotu and Pinky put one coin each in their piggy bank every day. So they thought of taking money from the piggy bank and buy a gift for their mother. Chotu, let's check in our piggy bank how many rupees are there and then we will bring something for mummy from the market. Okay, Pinky, let's see. Chotu, let's count all these coins by making groups of 10 each. So these are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. And along with that, there are 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98 and 99. This means we have 99 rupees in total. So children, did you see how Chotu and Pinky counted the money of the piggy bank? Can you tell me how many ones and how many tens are there in 99? Yes children, we write 99 like this. Here 9 is in the tens place and this 9 is in the nines place. That means we have 9 tens which can be also called as 9 bundles of tens and 9 ones. After some time, Chotu and Pinky noticed that there is another rupee in their piggy bank. So this means now they have 1 rupee more than 99 rupees. So children, do you know what is 1 more than 99? And how shall we count it? Yes, 100 is more than 99. Come on, let us see how. There are 9 ones and 9 tens. And if there is one more one in it, then it will become 10 coins, which means 10 ones. And together, 10 ones will make 110, which means one more group of 10. That means earlier we had 9 tens and now 110 more. And now we have 10 tens, which we call as a 100. So 100 comes after 99, which we write like this. So children, that was all for today. In this video, you learned about 100 and learned to read 100 as 1s and 10s. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of numbers from 91 to 100. Till then, bye children! examples of numbers from 91 to 100. Hello children, in the previous video you learned numbers from 91 to 100 and read those numbers as 1s and 10s. In this video we will see some more interesting examples of those numbers. Nowadays there is a fair near Chotu's house. Chotu and Pinky have also gone to the fair. They liked a game at the fair. In this game, they are given lots of pencils and they have to count them as quickly as possible. The one who tells quickly gets the reward. Chotu, first I will do it. Uncle, please give me the pencils. Uncle has given some pencils to Pinky. Let's see how she is counting them. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13. No, wait, Pinky. This will take you a long time to count. It is better if you count them as groups of 10. Okay, Chotu. So these are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. This means there are 90 pencils and plus 6 pencils more. So first of all, there are 90 pencils and 6 more pencils with me. So 91, 92, 93, 94, 95 and 96. So there are 96 pencils. Children, Pinky said it right and got the prize also. Now can you tell how many ones and tens are there in 96? Come on, let's see. Children, we write 96 like this. And in this, 9 is in the tens place and 6 in ones place. It means we have 9 tens which we can also call 9 bundles of 10 and along with it 6 ones means 6 loose pencils. Choto has gone to the store with his mother to buy the goods. Mummy, why are these pencils placed here in two different places? Choto, look, here the pencils are kept in groups of 10 and there are loose pencils here. Okay, but why is this, Mummy? Wait, Chotu, I'll tell you. First of all, do one thing. Give me 95 pencils out of these. Now I understood, Mummy. That means I will give 9 bundles of 10 pencils and 5 loose pencils. So to give 95 pencils, I have to give 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 5 loose pencils. So that is 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Yes, sure do. You are absolutely right. But if there were only loose pencils, then it would have taken a long time. That's why here the pencils are also kept in bundle of 10. So children, you saw how Choto used bundles and loose pencils to give 95 pencils. He gave 9 bundles of 10 pencils to his mother, which means 9 tens. And together, 5 loose pencils, which means 5 ones. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of numbers from 91 to 100. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of numbers from 91 to 100 and learn about some common mistakes that we all should avoid. Till then, bye children! Related to numbers from 91 to 100. Hello kids. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples of numbers from 91 to 100. In this video, we will see some interesting examples related to numbers from 91 to 100 and learn about some common mistakes which should not be made. Today, Chotu and Pinky's teacher has asked them to make a chart of numbers from 91 to 100. Pinky, let's write the ones and tens of these numbers in the chart. Okay, Chotu. Pinky and Chotu have written numbers from 91 to 100. And also write the ones and tens of some numbers. Both of them are going to show the chart to their mother before writing further. Mummy, look, we are preparing this chart to put in class. Hey children, you have written it upside down.
we write 91 like this and there are 9 tens and 1 ones in it. That means 9 bundles of 10 and 1 loose. Oh yes, we have made this mistake in all the numbers. Take this and just fix it up. Okay, mummy. Choto and Pinky then corrected their charts. Come on, let's see what they wrote now. It is written here that there are 9 tens and 1 ones in 91. Then there are 9 tens and 2 ones in 92. And just like that, they corrected all the numbers and wrote them down. Choto's birthday is coming up. And every year, Choto gives some gifts to all his friends. Hey Choto, what will you give to your friends this time? Mummy, this time I will give them small little packets of toffees. Oh wow, this would be a very cute gift. Yes, Mummy. Well, tell me Chotu, that how many toffees you have brought for your friends? Mummy, let me count them. Chotu started counting the packets. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. So there are 10 total packets. And 10 packets will make a 100 toffees. Isn't it, mummy? Chotu, but why do some bags look small and some seems big? Yes, mummy. There are less toffees in some packets. No, Chotu. Here we count a packet as 10 because there are 10 toffees in all the packets. If there are not 10 toffees in all, then we have to open all the packets and count them one by one. But it will take a lot of time, Mummy. <laughs> yes, Chotu. So, we should put 10 toffees in each packet before we start counting the packets. Okay, Mummy. I understood. Children, did you see what mistake Chotu made? Even y'all should not make such mistake. We should keep this in mind while making groups of 10 and counting that each group is made up of 10 things. Groups made up of different number of things are not counted as 10s. So children, that was all for today. In these videos, we learned about numbers from 91 to 100. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye friends. Thank <laughs> you.